Okay, once again, uh, welcome back to another edition of the uh, Monday Night um, Football right here on uh, Star TV. Um, as um, usual, we bring you um, exclusively everything on um, football, but today we will concentrate um, only um, in the Gambia. As you already know, uh, the Gambia um, played um, last night and then uh, Gambia, of course, um, qualified uh, to the AFCON for the second time um, in a row. Uh, today, in the midst of us, I invited, you know, um, a coach uh, who is not a person, a household name in the Gambia, uh, Coach Omar um, Sise, but I would say Coach uh, Omar Kamara, <laughs> right here with us. Uh, and Campo also um, join us. Uh, coach, you welcome to Monday Night Football. Thank you very much. Uh, thanks for having me. Campo? Yeah, thank you very much, Asari. Good evening to all our uh, viewers. Uh, we welcome to another exciting uh, Monday night sport. Like I say, we welcome here our, our, our good friend, and, and that is Omar Sise, former under 20 and under 20 uh, three coach, and also former uh, national assistant, uh, assistant coach. This 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 is not the first time he he's, he's appearing at, at, at Star TV, but for, for Monday night, this is the first time, so we tell him that too. Uh, you are welcome here at Stephen. So it's going to be an interesting program, at least mentioned in your in your headline. Yeah, We're going to focus main for the Gambia, yeah. Because, uh, been a coach on several occasions, you know. Uh, the, <laughs> this time around, we are able to have coach on Monday night football. Yeah. Thank you. Sir. Exactly. Um, today we'll be giving you um, highlights of the match uh, that happened between uh, Gambia and. Congo, and then we also be um, giving you uh, the phones, you know, from players and celebrations of fans um, at Westfield. As you already know, if any time Gambia wins, you know, uh, the meeting point is always um, at Westfield. Uh, we also be giving you reaction of the Honorable Minister for Youth and Sports, that is uh, Honorable Bakari Y. Baji, and then uh, the Vox Pop that um, some of our um, uh, some of the Gambians, you know, um, have uh, did today um, at um, Westfield. Feel um, and the rest will be discussing exclusively, you know, what transpired, you know, during the game and also uh, the preparation, you know, of the game um, against um, Congo. Uh, it was um, expected, Gambian expected that um, they were going to qualify um, to the um, AFCON uh, and it happens. Um, but uh, Gambian hopes we are nearly dust away, um, but uh, luck was um, on our side. We were able to draw the game 2-2 um, uh, against, you know, Congo and then having um, 10 points sealing, you know, um, our place um, at the AFCON. Uh, but before we bring you highlights of the match that um, took place between, you know, um, that is Gambia and Congo um, in Morocco, uh, let's just look at uh, the preparation, you know, um, to the game, you know, against um, Congo, you know, a match. Um, that uh, Gambia prepared, a match that, you know, Gambian people um, wanted to win, you know, a match that Gambian people were all expecting, you know, um, to get a point on because they say, at least if you don't win the game, uh, let's make sure that uh, we have a point so that um, we can qualify um, to the AFCON. It, it will have been a disaster um, if Gambia has not been, you know, at the AFCON this time around, coach. Um, I wouldn't call it a disaster, but uh, it is very good that we gain this position back. And, and the preparation was fantastic uh, from the aspect of the coach and uh, his own way of coaching, and also the, the, the GFF, the GSP, and everybody else that we want. It's, a, it's an amount of work that nobody will sit and rest. But definitely, the position Gambia is at the moment is uh, we have very good players. Very, very good players and they are all playing at higher level and higher level. This is very, very important for Tom. This is important for the FA. This is important for the entire it's, it's, it's The preparation was well and for me I, have, I don't have to mind that they will be well. Well, you never had to mind. No, I never had to mind because I have trust in the players. Yes, because most of them have worked with them, and I know what they are capable of doing if they want to play for yeah. the country. Yeah, you expected that we were going to win, or we, we, we were going to qualify. I know yeah. that we are going to qualify. But so, how, how, how were you, you know, in the first 45 minutes? Two nil down. Two nil down, it, it was, you know, looking at the game. It was 
it was something that I will credit the players, the coach, yeah. of the, 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 the live heart that they have to come back and fight. It's always an amazing thing for me. If a team can come back and fight and get what they want. Yeah. It was simple mistakes in the game that they were punished and considered two goals. But you can see the counseling the captain did with the players. Yeah. He was really a good leader. Definitely got the hope that what Omar is putting into everybody, if they make best use of it, they're going to cross. I wasn't surprised that they come back and win the game. Uh, sorry, and throw the game okay. and win their position in the next half count. Which everybody in, in, in the competition should be very careful. Mm. And every African team is worried about Gambia now because definitely we are coming from a direction that nobody expects us. One, in terms of playing in the pitch, no matter where the coach put his tactic, he's winning. He's winning, yeah. Definitely speaking, he's winning. So credit goes to him. Yeah, uh, looking at the caliber of players, you know, that the coach assembles, all right, um, um, this time around we've not had people query, you know, that uh, player so-and-so um, is not included, you know, in the squad. Uh, that is very important, Sarah. People yeah. have to criticize the coach. For me, as a coach, I don't want, I don't mind people come and say, why don't you take Y, why do you take Z or whatever. It is it's just the responsibility that is given to you. Yeah. And if you're sure of yourself, you have to come up with what you want. But definitely what I'm trying to say is, players that we have, they are loyal to the country, not to, to, to the coach, yeah. but they are loyal to their country. Yeah. And they have something in their heart that we had played for this country and others we don't have. They played Afghan last time and they know how it is. For them to go back there mm -hmm. means a lot to them. Some of them will will, will raise their market. Yeah, you their market value. Yeah, exactly. market value. And many, many other things that is very much within the equation which is very important. But like I told you, most of them I work with them. They have my heart. They can convince each other. Mm -hmm. That is definitely good for them and good for the country, and that's what they did. And, 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 and Gambia can be proud of this, this team, and I would recommend the FA, the ministry, and everybody in this country to nurture this team, because it's a very young team. Imagine the, the, the first goal scored by Yankuba Minte. In some countries, it will be very hard for them to bring in Yankuba. But we trust in him, and he went there and do what is need. The need yeah, for. And in fact, most people were saying uh, Yanko and Minter should have come in the first half. You know, um, some people say uh, in the first half they could get the tactics um, wrong. He was too defensive in the first half. You know, um, allowing Gambia to sit back and then Congo exploiting you know our weakness. But, 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 but Sarah, yeah. this is something that Gambia have been saying in the five, five years of or six years of Tom oh, Sanford as a coach. Yeah. He's defensive, he's defensive. He gets somewhere that nobody has ever been to. Yeah, that's for sure. I, as a coach, I, I met him. And I'll pray to God that I can reach where he is, maybe go beyond him. But now, let's say, who is coming after Tom? Will he be able to do what he did? No. He has his way of coaching. That is defending and go back and attack. If that is giving him result, then that's what Gambia want. If you can be Brazil and... <laughs> play the whole game and you cannot score a goal and you cannot win it doesn't make any sense the most famous coach in 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 football world today jose marino this is just, just like tom everybody said he put a boss in his goal whatever but he's the best so definitely gamians has to give credit to tom the people who brought him and definitely speaking i always say this we also have to give credit to our local coaches yeah. and we have to give them courage as well because everything that we talk about is been developed and groomed by these local coaches so, so. they have no resources all this no is salary no nothing yeah. but they're doing all this good job tom got it silver plate, silver plate yeah. but he's also doing very good job so credit goes to him but another credit goes to these local coaches from the grassroots academy coaches up to the GFL 
Bila is in coaches, the credit goes to everybody. Anybody who calls himself a coach and you are a unified coach, credit goes to you. Because Yankuba, his coach is Abdul Ture. Campo knows Abdul. I coach the academy. But I, I don't know Abdul has a license. Uh, there are pictures of Yankuba even coming out, coming out on social media, you know, uh, during the last Afghan qualifiers, yeah. you know, um, Yankuba climbing on the bus, you know, calling out to his brother, yeah. and this time around, yeah. we've seen that youngster, you know. He played the position for us. Now. Exactly. So, th this is what I'm saying. I, I, I have made one mistake in my career as a national team coach. I didn't start Mohammed in Jena Conakry, and I regretted wow. that very night. So you still, you still now regret Be not starting Mohammed. I regret why, why I didn't, didn't start Mohammed because, because when I brought, brought Mohammed in the second, second half, half, if Mohammed have another ten minutes, we would have qualified. Uh, we would have equalized Jena. So I'm not surprised what he did yesterday. And, and I have worked with Musa, and I know Musa. He doesn't talk too much, but he will give you everything that a coach need. And I know that he have good relationship. Apply. I know where I took apply from, mm -hmm. and uh, so this boy is playing. Hamza, he doesn't want anything in his life. All he wants is football. football. Just give him the ball, he will play. So this team is it's, it's very promising. It's unique. it's unique, and they should be given courage. Give them everything that they need. We can expect something big in the next Afcon. Mm -hmm. That is not only the GFF, but the whole country, the whole country yeah. and the government plus the GFF, we can expect something big. But if we go around criticizing each other because of our political difference, that doesn't make sense. That time has gone. The election is gone. Let's come together as a team work as and one. we work as one. Yeah. But definitely speaking, I haven't watched the full game, no. but the part I watch, I, as a coach, I won't say it's a very good game as far as playing is concerned. Yeah. But we were where we wanted to be. And, and Congo's mistake, the mistakes we made, they capitalized on those mistakes. You know, they could score the third goal. Yeah. They were unfortunate. Yeah. Up, up the yeah. But Gambia in the second half got three chances and then they utilize it. And then two chances they utilize it, get us where we want. So now, I cannot tell, if I have chance to advise him, I will tell him my opinion. But he's the coach. Final decision comes from him. We will hear what's that opinion of yours is going to be. Um, uh, Campo, you've predicted here on, on, on Monday, you know, um, that um, if the coach, you know, um, play a defensive minded game, you know, he might concede two goals. Yeah, yeah, because of, uh, as I say, for, uh, for depending on coaches yeah. here, you know, you know what I'm, what I'm saying is the right, because football, playing, drawing game in football is very, 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 very dangerous. You cannot play a draw game uh, because you have to go out and because defending is very, 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 very difficult. And Gambia to qualify, our qualification was in our own hand. Yeah. yeah, it was in our own hand. Draw, we are there. Win, we are there. So when you are playing a draw game, you, you should always go out and make the opposition uh, fear you. For you should not sit and allow him to come on you. If you allow that, you'll be tired. So that's what we did. Gambia, so we are seated and allowing Congo to push us, to push us, to push us, until what, what they have, they get it, because of, if they hit you once, when you want to go out, they feed you again, so the force us was absolutely uh, poor tactic, everything was poor, 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 but in the second half, he makes some quick covers, he know that if we don't attack, we are, we are, we are going to lose, that, that's why he bring a uh, uh, light and bring a uh, young cover also with it, and uh, uh, reforce the uh, force to was to play, so I'm um, things will change. But Congo, they not capitalize on their chances because if they score that three goal, it will be game over. But in football, as I always say, two nil is a dangerous scoreline. Even five minutes to play, if you if you score one, the opponent get fear. Unless he add another one, three one, game over. But if not, any time, the, the other team can uh, equalize and make it two two. That that what happened. We were never give up and five up to the uh, ladder. The second half was, was good, but the fourth half was good. We put ourselves in the pedestal because we were, we expect, the quick tactic was uh, to try and defend the fourth half, not to concede. Then the okay. second half, you can come and make the job, but you don't do that. Now in the beginning, sometimes it will not work. 
maybe uh, there is there will be a day it will not work. And things are starting to study the government. The government, the government even Paul put in this press conference that they always fight back in the last minute. So we say go and score another one to kill the game. Yeah, but but for us we sit and hit them on counter attack in the force and that does not work. But in the second half the tactic was all good. It is was so good. So the lad has a fight for their country and for their lives. So we say congratulations for the the entire team and the coach was it will be big embarrassed if we did we did not make it to the back to back because finishing last eight and the next the next two years you are not you are there. It happened to other teams like Madagascar first 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 year they went to the uh, quarter field, final. Still now they are yet to be uh, it happened to Burundi, the same thing. So the Nebisa first round, first round, but they still now qualifying three in a row, mutually three in a row. So why not the Gambia? Okay. Uh, coach, it was a crazy 45 minutes, you know, uh, in the Gambia here. Crazy 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, uh, if you happen to uh, go on social media, you know, look at WhatsApp status. You know, many Gambians were yeah. calling, calling for the head of Coach Tom. This is normal. <laughs> As a coach, I have experienced it. Um, yeah. I remember uh, when I won the penalty in Morocco during the Ramadan, a Gambian inboxed me that I won Morocco, I'm not going to win in Guinea Conakry. That's normal in Gambia. It's normal. And, and, and I'm very much this thing with Tom that he's used to that. And any coach has to be used to that. But believe me, I was driving, going home from my village. I met a guy, a neighbor. He said, I'm angry because we are two goal down. I said, we're going to equalize. He said, coach, I don't know what you are thinking. I said, yeah. And when it happened, he calls me. He said, coach, how do you know we'll equalize? Because this is it. It is two ways to play in this way. You either go all out, get one goal, and defend to the end. When they equalize, you draw, you qualify. Or you defend to the end of the game, which is very hard. But people doesn't know one thing. Tom is very smart. Because in the second half, what he did is crazy, but he got nothing to lose. Is either I qualify or I go, out. I go out. And it works for him. And look at our goals. They were all long balls and then boys were there to execute them. It was fantastic. I think the people has to. It's true. This is football. <laughs> they, are, they will criticize everybody. Yeah. That's normal. For, for, for a complete coach, which my view and campus is different as a journalist. Yeah. But for, for as a coach, you have to accept that. Even me sometimes, I, I personally criticize Tom for bringing in Yankuba very early. But I back it out within myself because when I saw he scored a goal, I said, well, this is it. If somebody can play in, in, a, in, in, in a division, he can definitely represent his nation, no matter his age. Yeah. But definitely speaking, um, most people might see this statement otherwise. But I don't know if we will get a successful FA like we are having. I'm not talking about administrative or okay. finance or other aspect. Yeah. But yeah. as far as football is concerned, yeah. we've, we've gone from a level. Reaching, reaching this stage. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right now. And, and, and definitely, the future is bright. The reason I say future is bright, I have worked with Ablai Bojo. And I can say this anywhere I go in the world. Any, there is nobody that you can match with apply in the country here. If you equal the level of working with him, mm -hmm. he will beat you in another thing. And when it comes to developing these kids at the level he is, to nurture them to go to 23 and, and the senior team, yeah. apply is the best. He is number one. Nobody can argue that I've worked with him and I know what he is capable of doing. Future. So future is bright without football. The, the thing is the FA has to stable everything. Okay. okay. And if you are there, you accept that you are there, you work for your country. If you are not there, just accept that it's my country. My time has elapsed with them. It is still my country and I have to be with them and then we go together okay. as a country. All right, um, let's just uh, uh, watch the game highlight between um, Gambia and Congo.
football fans, Gambian fans are saying, well, the ref did not want Gambia to qualify. That's why he called that penalty. I, I, I don't know whether you've watched the game. I think that is yeah. just, uh, you know, when, 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 when I want to win, yeah. I want to win. So, so any anything that will be something that will deny me from winning, I will against that. From my point of view, the angle I, I saw, I cannot determine whether it is handball or it is not. Yeah. But the referee is there. He is very close to Omar. Yeah. So I, I cannot make a decision whether it is penalty or not. But nonetheless, it's, for me, I consider it as two simple mistakes and we were punished. And we come back and capitalize on our opportunities and then get where we wanted to be. Okay, uh, we will come back to the comment section. Um, on our Facebook page, of course, a lot of people um, like um, Sora Jiba, Aziz Korn, Nyang, Mohamed Haidara, uh, David Jiba, Kaka Tenko, Mendy, uh, together with Mohamed Ba, Nima A lot of people are sending their comments. We will come to the comments uh, section later. Uh, but let's just um, play uh, two videos, you know, uh, that is the uh, player's phone and then fans' uh, celebration and then we come back here in house.
Martin and uh, thank you very much for Yeah. Congratulations, boys. Congratulations, boys. We are so happy. Welcome to our team. We are so happy. 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 You know, they were happy. Gambians home here also, even though, you know, um, it's not played on a home soil. You know, it's played in Morocco, you know, but uh, we went out, you know, and jubilate um, at Westfield. Uh, some of the Scorpion fans club, you know, the Smiling Coast Scorpion fans club were at Serkunda is also, you know, where they gather watching the game and they're also celebrating. It's, it's, it's Gambian, Gambian fans, fans love the Scorpions, being the senior or whatever level. Because I have experienced that as a coach when I was there, and uh, they will—they are ready to go with the team anywhere. Unfortunately, lack of form and other things, yeah. but uh, definitely speaking, um, this one was very good. Yeah. The players were amazed with what they did, and they have good time with themselves. Mm -hmm. They will be positive for the next tax. Yeah. yeah, definitely. That's all. That's all you need. If it would have been in the Gambia. It would have been wow. we we are unlucky all these qualifications we did it outside yeah. so hopefully we can be lucky to qualify it within the Gambia here and yeah, then and some would say if if the, the game was played in Dakar, Dakar Senegal. Senegal yeah um, Senegal um, I, th I think it's peaceful for Gambia to play in Morocco, in Morocco. <laughs> yeah because uh, our relationship with Senegal when it comes to football is not very good and yeah. they will not want us to qualify yeah. uh, so this is a good decision this for them to play decision. in Morocco. Yeah, I, I support that idea. Come. This is the yeah, yes. the, the, the I mean, yeah. yes. so This is what we expect. Anytime Gambia won't beat on a 17, beat on a 20, they always meet at the uh, at Westfield to to support. Because that is the heart of the Gambia. That is a uh, Senegunda. It's, it's so true. Seeing your country going back to Afcon because we have been watching Afcon on TV for several years. Mm -hmm. uh, for, for me, I started watching the Af Afcon in 1996. Yeah, in South Africa, 96. Uh, Burkina, uh, Burkina Faso, no, 98 and 2000 Mali, but not seeing Gambia. For, uh, <laughs> not Gambia, so it's sad seeing, seeing Gambia going to the Afcon back to back. So it's, it's, it's absolutely a uh, Amazing. So it's, it's joyful. Every Gambian uh, who, who was watching this game won the uh, Gambian to qualify. Because if Gambian did not qualify, we will all uh, be sad. If Gambian did not, uh, if Gambian qualify, we are all happy. So the whole country hard was won. So that's why God uh, give us uh, this uh, uh, success. But I, 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 I'm reading one comment. I'm, I'm, I'm just funny. <laughs> it makes me, it makes me funny. Yeah. 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 I like maybe like, for a for a coach. Maybe that's his opinion. I will I will never say that. But what I say, coach Tom currently is our coach and we have to go with him. But the same I'm gonna be fan of his coaches. Yes. The same way fans are, are no, no, also no, out there criticizing journalists and media men. Yes, exactly. No, for me, for me, I mean, yeah. I'm a professional. I have been in this job for fifteen years. So I'm just saying that maybe people don't understand. For me, even the president, the president, the first person on the I, I personally told them I'm not the fan of the coach because of what the tactics. But I'm, I'm not the enemy of the coach. I, I always call with the I always talk with the coach. Even I text him, congratulations, coach, for taking us uh, to have gone back to back. He told me thank you very much as a professional. But I'm not his beat. That doesn't Okay, now we will be going over to uh, the Honorable Minister of Youth and Sports, Bakari Wabaji, who travelled with the team, of course, uh, and then uh, he sent us his reaction immediately um, after the game. Hello, good day to everyone out there. This is Bakari Baji, Minister of Youth and Sports. You know, just like everyone else in the whole country, we are all very happy. That once again Gambia have registered success in our football by qualifying for the second consecutive time to the African Cup of Nations and we would not have been able to achieve this without the great, great collaboration and the sacrifice that everyone has done but more so our gallant Scorpions the players that were out there in the pitch doing everything possible to ensure that the Gambia red white blue white green flies high in the continental football 
and uh, it's no secret you know, we all saw what happened in the pitch you know despite all the odds these young players give their best and fought to the end and when everybody kind of lost hope or at least majority of the people lost hope you know they carried on and we were able to to come back into the game and score those two beautiful goals and you know we just want to, to, to appreciate them for for the for the great work and appreciate them for having laid down their life if we're permitted to call it that way for the country to ensure that we go to the Africa Cup Nation. and of course we must thank the coach for you know his great work together with his technical team and the Gambia Football Federation and everyone that has been involved in this journey it's been difficult we know it's been challenging sometimes but we all focused on the most important thing which is how do we qualify for AFCON and we are glad that uh, we have registered that success so I just want to also you know appreciate the President of the Republic His Excellency President Adam Abaro and the entire executive and the government of the Gambia for having supported the ministry to be able to work with the Football Federation to support the team and everyone that is involved and this is what has given us this result so your Excellency President Adam Abaro congratulations once again that um, after more than five decades Gambia is uh, going to the African Gulf Nation for a second time in your government under your leadership. We appreciate you and we say thank you for all the support that you give as of course the, the President of the Republic but also the, the Football Federation Chief Patron. All right, so to all the Gambians, the fans and everybody that has been part of this journey, it's been successful and we want to say thank you uh, to everyone, um, fans, journalists, everyone, the imams, the pastors that have been doing all the prayers. Uh, we hope to, to continue to work together as a country, despite our differences, our political differences, our, our religious and our tribal differences. The most important thing is that football unifies everyone, and it has been demonstrated uh, after the last whistle when people went out to gather on the streets on Caraba Avenue and on, at Westfield to celebrate yet again another success of the team. So we look forward to, to, to the continued support and of course the ministry will continue to do what we can under the leadership of the government to ensure that um, what is needed is provided for the preparation of the team, and I mean technical preparation of the team, but also to go to Cote d'Ivoire in January. And uh, we look forward to surpassing the performance that happened in Cameroon. Once again, once again, congratulations. All right, uh, that was uh, the Honorable Minister of Youth and Sports. Um, well, um, his reaction immediately um, after the game football unifies the nation. You said it here, despite yeah. our political differences. differences yeah. Yeah. And uh, he also needs to be credited as a minister that uh, such a wonderful moment has come in on during his tenure. Um, we should commend him for that, uh, con at least in congratulate him and also give him credit for that. He's a young minister yeah. and uh, he's with the team always. So it's fantastic uh, for Gambia to be one when it comes to football. Football there is nothing like, uh, there's no religious difference or political or whatever. Mm -hmm. It's the nation and we are one we all support the game you know so let's go forward uh, uh, yeah a uh, comment from the honorable uh, minister yeah definitely what he said he have said it all first of all he will thank the entire uh, country especially the the president say there's no i'm not going to talk on, on political boss uh, on his on his then there is a guy may have chance to qualify for the african for uh, back to back also they have spent a lot for this team to qualify like charter flags my bunnies other ones also credit to gff also the uh, resting the, the team also giving them support like coach mentioned here you must give credit to uh lamin kababajo and his and his team the best ever gff uh, president unless another gff can and break their record but currently what they did in the, in game football the records are there they will speak because they have done a lot qualify for the team and they are turning back to back Afcon and under 20 uh, African Cup of Nations and World Cup. So they have done everything that uh, 
Ghanaian football need. It's only now well, what left is only the World Cup. So we say congratulations to the entire GFF executive oh, and, and, and the ministry. Yeah, and and the fans out there. So so definitely football don't football there's no religion in football or politics or gay. So we are all the same. Everybody can play, everybody can play the beautiful game and we all come together. When when Gambia win, you will not know this guy is a Christian or Muslim or this guy is a uh, UDP or MPP. We all come together and celebrate. That is the beauty of the beautiful game. That's why they say no reason in football, for fair play. So we say congratulations to the entire minister. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, what I'm saying is uh, the, 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 the five day get that the minister was talking about yeah. is a very important moment for the <laughs> and, and the coach yeah. and the entire Gambia. Exactly. Definitely, um, we have to think whether we'll have a team like our okay. in the future. Mm -hmm. Uh, whoever, whoever is looking for for it, you yeah. have to think about that one, one. and also a tough position as well. But, but uh, I will never, never forget, forget about our Gambian coaches. Gambia coaches. Mm -hmm. We've seen coaches that have did very good job here. Yeah. And no matter the short period they have, likes of Matar, yeah. Ablai, Tafa, and all these coaches that have been here. And that we should also be looking after our local coaches. They should be given courage. To work with national team for sure. because this is very important we cannot rely on uh, foreign coaches it's one is expensive for the fa it's not only about it's not only about courage also, also the finance the financial finance backing back. you know no, uh, yeah. our fo foreign yeah. coaches are giving a lot of money yeah. 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 and local are paying less yeah. 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 but that one also <laughs> they should not be paid less because they yeah. should be paid equally like like the foreign, like coaches. foreign coaches yeah. you know because the prof, they, they probably like like if we have one or two like T boy, yeah, and the ones will come. Possibly. Martin Mendy is coming up. Okay, you know T boy is already there. So we hope that we have a lot of young ones <laughs> to do the uh, April. Okay, and then the future is bright for the government. All right, now over to the uh, Vox Pop that we just did this um, early morning. Um, Star TV, of course, um, went around uh, to sound the opinions of Gambians, you know, on the game uh, Gambia versus Congo. I said I like the way, like the way the coach said, like the force was not good. Like I said, like many ah, good boys have been Why are oh. this young Kubo Minte, Badamosi, like Ablai Jalo, what are they doing at the bench? But I think that it was good that they reserved their energies and uh, the second half they came and they make us proud. Every, all, all of us are proud of them. Yeah. Oh, so Hamlimida, <laughs> Because we won like a second time we qualify to the Africa Cup of Nations, so we are Santa Yala, you know. So they get a young boy, get a good girl, right? Hamga, Yala Bana, the young boy, Hamga. We don't see Africa Cup of Nations in Gambia, so Yala Munda go, they don't go Yala Def, huh? You get the fake echo. So you get a young boy, then Hamga come to the end, get a incredible dance, see football, be Hamga. You get a good girl, get a first time, you know. Hamga Gambia, everyone together, Gambia like Jugal Hamga. I want understand. So you know, so you get the support boy every every game, any game we want to break. So you know, you get the support boy. You saying that all the time, I'm going. Yeah, the nyan, the nyan, the I'm going. The nyan, yeah, I'm going to new job for that. We pull up, I mean, any any boy, any good game, so all the football, the nyan, yeah, I'm going to go. You get, I'm going to qualify World Cup. No sanga. You play a World Cup, World Cup, you believe you go get to go see Gambia. I'm going. So you know, you go nyan, yeah, I'm going to go. You know, you go, yeah, I'm going to go. So one day, when Sanamo game, we are going to be happy, man. Yeah, but they must still have my game in the Lumoko video. I'm over happy, I'm going to over content, you know, because as a Gambia qualified now, I'm so do the Santa Yala. So they got to get my content, bah, 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 the Santa Yala, bah, the Yala boy, I'm telling you, yep, the Amira, so Yala, the family will be doing, yep, so you is in the Gambia, African command is under your Gambia, Yama Salah. The content direct, content you bah, bah, but the Governor, the next to the girl, gives me a girl of a good topic. Parce que 
waaw di le ñaara dal ñi dem ba Senegal ak ami dem final dal inshallah rabbi lol waaw man nañu seri ci kaw bu ñami entraîneur bu baax dal waaw parce que gis na ne gami amna joueur yo xamne ni ci lañ joxe chance dal gis na ne dal mën nañu seri bu baax 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 wey li problème bi nak moy problème entraîneur ñun lool mo ci ñu problème parce que du entraîneur mais def ci bari même ba ci fédération bi parce que da nga gis xalé bo xamné da mena football lol mais du am sens pour ñu jël ko parce que lan mo tax du am sens li moy problème bi corps bi dafa bari ci afrique bi moy problème bi mais bu doon né dañ koy tak ci yoon rek 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 bari na boy xamné ñu ngi dox ci mbédi fi ni ku len duggal ci terrain dañ ñu ñu ndi le coup wax deug yalla lan moy problème mais nak ma leena ñaanal ñi dem ba final ñi ta def final ñu na sénégal lo dalay ñaan daari wi ñew ni inshallah rabbi gis na ne fo sans mom ci fo was do dafa warono gaay seen jël fa desson ay di seconde gis nañ na mo football mom ni ko français waxe temps fort ak temps faible bo nekké ci temps fort faible do gis nañ temps fort rek ngay capitalize pour nga def gam ni nak bu nekké ci temps faible fo was afrique dafa nekkon ci temps faible bo nekkulon di dox mais seconde bi ci la capitalize pour football benn 5 minutes mo nga nekk ci temps fort rek am li nga bu am gam ni deuk football la deuk la bo xamne war na mu am lu ne ci football buñ ko gëmé buñ gëmé na mën nañu am lu parce que football believe la rek if you believe you can do it you can do it lool rek la du leneen gam ni man fi la nek fi la xam i have been here more than 18 years so xam na fi lu bari the only problem ñu am moy staff problem la am dañ am problem staff ko afrique sax la yow da nga xamne ki wara jitu buñ ko jappalé ñu ne ci ginaaw ñu koy fakat sal buñ bañu am result da ñu ko wara jappalé pour mu am result player bi ci bobu dafa wara gëmé he can do it man nako def bo nekké ci fil bu gëm sax né team bi mo ko doole amu ben team bo ko doole fan 11 11 la fi la mindset la rek buñ ko gëmé we can do it football man limam ci football la football lima ci am moy gëm gëm la amul kenn fi ko xané mo la mën gëm gëm la rek soko gëmé rek amna nak fa ko xamné ni ñoo ñu raw ci football waye seen raw gi yépp seen gëm gëm la dañuy gëm mën nañ ko def parce que buñ la joxé surtout buñ joxé li leen wara jox yépp mu am li nor am ci football jox la xaliss bi nga soxla yépp budget bi lepp yow li ci def yow football bi ya ko wara def coach bi mom select select la mo def ay ci biir ci fil bi mo wara gëm ni dafa wara def dara su amé no rek jeex na man gëm na ne gambia mu na am sax lu pass fi ne ko mu na jël sa cop parce que ci gis force ko african coordination lu mu def kon ci amé gëm gëm mu na def lu ëpp lolu no i was in the game as a fan and also as com comme la football lova comme everything possible na in football even the last 90 plus minutes ah buñ ñu score the first half then lu mo lon ñaal moy gambia have to score before 80 minutes do mo nekkon for production we have to score a goal before 80 minutes then the last 15 minutes then you set and then that can change the game da buñ change four players ñew so fekk tam Congo tam gaay len relax on already ban la gaay le fene ban la gaay score two goal technically then same player gene certain four player did for different game game capitalize from defensive mind to attacking football and then that change the game definitely so here we go of course next and lu ñoo ñaan tam ministry especially pour ñu make sure some stadium bi mëna ready pour november was november like 2026 um then what are nega in united states afcon target is out now the next step moy world cup 2026 in america bo am nen players am nen the mindset and we can do it i believe the team we can do it am nen the player na ko bi pick rightful player player in form mu baye tat division team yu mo ici player is very is very stressful a difficult talent because me da men ni na pa bi le ba djibe ka ni na siblen so but then a difficult am bele bul you know bele barara molia djibe nyame it was too much you know pressure ni was so high on us yeah dega dega because ndol as football fan mbe be mira kan no maybe ni benu je be kala nyadi no because football asol be min feel kan tol maybe been footballers the same thing abole nyama but thank god ala en de mal win tarino yes dega dega comme une tay for example ni tatara comme une coach inside be min follow coach wala ko like attacking football gambe ngol tole wala long yeah because kunu ni aji be like bidim team of fin tanan all out we played very well so gambian tol man defensive football long so even senegal fo ni nga sota fa ntadam ma dama ma i wish ni senegalais boko pool 
and then we show them what we can. With the attacking football, we can go anything. And secondly, with the GFF, I mean, they have to try and ministering him for the ball, phone on you again, you know, because coming even ball, I'm not bonus, I do it back in. To any other back, I can back but if they can add more and more and more, I believe that Timo said jump on you know. I feel bad. I mean, you guys go on two not, but I'm not. I'm. I'm on now. Yeah, Carlo, boys, see, they can equalize the game because time balance come the fun. Offensive change is some you know. Only no, no, young Cuba Minte, Jamano, no Bambala, no Badamosi. I have hundred percent hope that Gambia they will qualify for Kumin. They will level the game because so all and you don't play. See, they give you be better than you regular for Bayern Hamza. So so no offense. Then they am five. And they just young Cuba Minte. See, line below they started directly on the third line. Musa Baru Mugi Gina. So in that gentle. I think exposure on the defense. So, exposure on the defense. And I think it's a bad move. They're like in between the two strikers. So, there's a lot of chance. I'm going to go behind the defense. I'm going to strike first goal. So, the second goal will be the same thing. I'm going to go to the bottom. I'm going to go to the bottom. I'm going to go to the bottom. So, I'm going to play because it's the last body. So, so all the lot of tactical changes on the defense was superb. 100%. I'm going to go to the bottom. I'm going to go to the bottom. I'm going to panic. But so, all the lot of to God. Through the line of the, what them in the, you know how many boys they are ready for the game. Despite referee, we need to like, we don't play civilized game against Gambia. But still, boys don't pay some game for don't digest. They don't understand. So you as fancy Gambia team, you don't want to pay some. You buy media, be criticized from, come on. People is in their coffee. So you play all day, but you, then I'm close. We are play. We solve for you guys. That's what we want. So we all take you, all can and go. You learn what a game you stop for. We can do it. I'm mean, the player. Now, could we pick rightful player, player in form? We buy a third division team, you know, it's player. It's very, it's very stressful. A difficult time because my dad and I are not going to be a sibling. So, but then a difficult time available, you know, Bele Barada. Molly Ajibena, it was too much, you know. Pressure on him was so high on us. Yeah, Dega Dega. Because until as football fan, maybe Miracle and maybe Nimbenunje, Mikel and Yadi. Because footballers will be in field control, maybe being footballers. Okay, um, those were reactions um, from Gambians fans uh, today morning around um, Westfield. Um, uh, time is again, so let's just um, look at some of the comments that we have on our Facebook page. Um, Musa Trawale says, you guys need to lament about the state of the stadium. All right, Musa, we will discuss that in our next uh, Monday night uh, football program. Of course, we will give you images of what is happening, you know, at the Independent Stadium. Uh, this one says, now uh, the fact has has come you know uh, into the table i have been telling this since gff is the best gambia ever had honestly and this one says um, gff is the best that gambia you know ever uh, ever best ever had success, yeah. success, best yeah. success is different yeah. definitely every gff has their state the late obi karate uh, you can consider him as one of the best presidents because he have make the football survive mm -hmm. he was not successful as this one yeah. but uh, i will say they are the most successful gff yeah yeah right. i will say that all right this one is now it's time for the court to have a good look at some of the, the under 20 players. players uh three to four players from there look okay. at the under um, 20 yeah i don't think people okay it's their, their opinions, opinions but, but yeah under, under 20, 20 and the senior national team and afcon is a different level mm -hmm. Uh, we cannot be lucky like what we have from Yakuba, from all players. Mm. But uh, one or two to be blend in the team to, to pick up experience is very good. Okay. And you, cannot, you can never know they can be like Yakuba. Mm. But this is definitely a different and there is a big gap. Mm. You know, because the under 23 is a very big gap between these two. Mm. You know, if we will and say considered yeah. players should be more of the U23 players, mm. I would not say we will not consider the very best in the under 20, but more should be of the U23s, you know, because they are close to the senior team than the 20s. But if there is extraordinary in the U20 also, like Yankuba can come. 
this was a marital contribution. The Gambia national team is in the mid in the middle of midfield in the middle of the field because still now we don't have uh, midfield 10 player and it's high time Tom to use Bambalai at the middle of the field. Would you, uh, you would not tend to agree with him? Huh? Um, a team, team that, that have Ablai Jalo is, uh, is definitely one of the best number 10s when you know how to use him. And uh, Bambalai is also very good. I like that boy because uh, one thing I like him, about him is he wants to play. If a player is ready to play, you can trust him. You know. But we have a lot of 10 players. Um, at the moment, I don't think we have to jump back the, the, the role of number 10 to bring confusion for the coach. But more chances can be given to others as well. well this was a coach, you are right. Um, his style of football, Tom is playing, is good for us? Yes, it's good for us at the moment. But when Lai is playing that, I will criticize him. Because they are developmental. developmental. <laughs> they are developing. <laughs> yeah, they are developing. Why would you criticize him? No, they are. <laughs> no, no, no. Tom is, Tom is result oriented. He, he has, has to have a result. Okay. And Lai and T Boy is developing. developing. Yeah. When, when we, we get a result, we accept it. But their job is to develop these kids for them to play for the senior team. So. At the final stage where we should have result, if we want to develop at that stage, it's going to be very difficult. Yeah. yeah. So this is the only Tom can do. And if I am Tom, I will only find the best way to win the games. So yeah. meaning, meaning you'll be defending, defending, defending. What? <laughs> Campo, defending, defending is part of the game. I know. Yeah. The best, the best, the best, the best way to game. defense yeah. is to is to attack. Yeah. And, and the way Tom defend, yeah. he don't only defend. He he defend that you think he's only defending, but whenever he attacks, it's dangerous. So, so, so as he said, I, I, I concur with you. It's definitely good for the game. This one says the left back, as the sport says, the left back, Sanyan, uh, Sen, the captain, and the midfielders. Yeah. What did he say about Well, um, he just made um, I, I, I also want to make a very big comment about I think, I think we need to group one or two defenders. Okay. Um, James is fantastic. Yeah. I, I I can say the semi final I lost in Senegal I lose games no, because he has to travel. He's one of the best young defenders at that time, but he's still yet to have an experience like Omar. Buba is not very good. If we have someone like Omar, a little bit more experience than games would be very good. Okay. But James is. Agile, ready to play, a lot of energy. He's only a man. He will kill himself to play for the game. But I would, for my contribution to the team, they should have an outstanding defender like Omar. Or maybe a little bit better than Omar and James. Yes, yes. I was looking for that. I was talking about this. Some of the three players. Yeah, but could mention when, when the experience we, with those here. ones is totally different. Yeah, I'm coming, I'm coming because of yeah, yeah. You have to pass through the on the on the on the. But on that's the why I'm saying future is bright yeah. because the the same well, the same to, captain yeah. for the under 20. Mm -hmm. If you give him two more years, mm -hmm. he can do a very good job with games while Omar is going out. Yeah, you know. Yeah. That's what I'm so, saying. Definitely, uh, future is very bright. Yeah, what I'm saying for, for, for the under 20 players, the, you know that there's no competition right now for the under 23. No, there will be. They have no, the Olympic no, yeah, and yeah. also they have the yeah, Africa, that, they that, have that, the, the that, that's, that's, that's three years time because next year is, is Olympic in in Paris. But maybe to try and know what Yanguba have. What you mentioned is true. What Yanguba have. So many young youngsters will not just have to from jumping although they would not have chance to play for the under 20 you know because, Kampo, he, uh, because he was on the under on the, on the, on the 17 the under 20 he's supposed to uh uh travel uh to argentina but his coach his, his team saying no but like bio and scene and other players they will maybe, have their maybe, chances yeah maybe try to invite them during the world cup qualifier round just no, and, and I wouldn't invite yeah. them in a in a qualified no, round. No, you can't you can't you can't you can't you can't but, can, but, but to blend for them blend. to get used because, to the game. Because some players of this current team, some players are aging. And Campo, some players we, some players in trying, two in two years, three years time. What they, I'm trying they to know the level that they are Campo, what so I, it needs to be that that one I just called the same. Campo national team is different. Some of them but, and blend them. But we're talking about 
national team, team is national different. Team, yes, a national team. National uh, team is England, different. Look at England. England is just jumped from nowhere. I bring a unexperienced player, 17 years. Play, play for them. But that's why look they at, don't win nothing. Look at, look at Spain. Last time, the the young boy they they bring the Moroccan born a player. The young ones will have chance years. to come. But 16 years. So we have the, the, the FA and the, 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 the FA and the government should because play more national, national friendly games to enable all these young players to 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 have their time to play for it. But if you want to bring them competition proper, no. it's very risky for the coach. Maybe some okay, people, I, four or five players. Right it's coming from us, it's called Nyang. We need a right back because Noah is not both games um, against Congo. We got exposed there, according to as it's called Nyang. Yeah. 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 He's quite right. Yeah, he's, he's quite, quite right. Yeah. But tell us is that uh, <laughs> if we, whether we can have likes of Jabo and. Uh, uh, this one, what is his name again? Uh, uh, Javan. Joe Javan. Kagbo and Joe Javan and all this. So I think Aziz can definitely remember Joe Javan because we played together and Joe was one of the finest. Before us, Kagbo is extraordinary. I will say he is one of the best uh, in that position. Okay, uh, time is against us right here on Monday Night Football. Coach, thank you very much for coming to Okay. If you want me more, you have to become the season and I will come. <laughs> but it's a, place, a place, it's, it's a pleasure for me to be here. You find me in a very good mood today. Yeah. <laughs> Yesterday I was taken to... Saturday I was... Whew, if it was Saturday, you would have not get me. You know? wow. <laughs> yeah. But uh, it's a pleasure for me to come here. And I like to share the same panel with uh, Campo. Do I do? I do go against him, but... Yeah. It's good to criticize coaches, so that gives them more instincts. And the FA also need to accept criticism, and any other person is part of anyone's job. But really, thank, thanks for this invitation, and uh, Star FM is doing very well. Thank you very much. My doors are open for you any anytime. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, for, thank you, sir. And we'll, and we'll also uh, thank Komotsi for coming to Star TV uh, because you have a lot of uh, busy schedule, but you have to uh, cut all of that and. And so to our call to come to our Star TV special Monday night. I just have a few camera job to do when I go back. <laughs> See, okay. We also thanks our viewers out there sitting at home also watching also uh, also watching on live from Facebook, the like of as it's called and others. So we say them thank you very much uh, for your time because I know it's too late out there in Europe but you are sitting and watching us and also saying your ideas. So we say keep on spotting until next week Monday inshallah. Keep on spotting. Hey, um, thank you very much, Ibrahim Campo Jata. Thank you very much, um, Coach Omar um, Sisi. And we also want to thank the technical team, you know, behind uh, Monday Night uh, Football, Bas and the rest of the crew, uh, for a job um, well done. We want to thank, you know, um, our fans, um, everybody, you know, who was watching um, this program. Uh, we'll give you another rendezvous. Of course, that's going to be another Monday night right here on Star TV. Sarah and team, Simba, to all of you out there, keep on supporting. Oh, you mean Mokajibel?